Well, her face is heavily bruised and she claims she needed emergency surgery to repair bones beneath her eye that were crushed. And tonight a mom living on Cedar Road is claiming her injuries are the result of a punch to the head by an Nanaimo police officer. The family says the officer needs to be held accountable. <laughs> It's not the kind of thing you can hide. Camilla McGuire says she hasn't been to work this week because she's ashamed of how she looks. The McGuire family claims the injuries to her face are the evidence of an assault by an Nanaimo RCMP officer. My concern is other people are unsafe in our community knowing that he's out there. Their story begins last Wednesday when they say their 20-year-old son Lawrence was struggling with depression and needed help. They called an ambulance. Paramedics arrived along with two police officers. Camilla says one of the officers was clearly agitated and she told him she was going to call dispatch because she felt he wasn't comfortable with the situation. That's what the family claims triggered an assault. The offending officer grabbed my arm. I, I said, please let go of my arm. I took another step and... He punched me with all force that I have ever, ever felt. I, he punched me in the face and then he handcuffed me and he put his foot on my neck and he pushed me again into the ground. Her husband says he ran outside after hearing a scream and told the officer he could help his hysterical wife, but stopped short when he says the officer told him to back off. I personally felt that if I persisted, he would have felt justified to pull that gun and shoot me. So I was forced to stand back and watch. Camilla's son Lawrence says he couldn't believe what he was seeing. Very shocked. Uh, I have to protect my mother from police. McGuire says she needed emergency surgery Saturday morning to have titanium plates inserted into her shattered face and due to nerve damage has no feeling over much of it, which she says may be permanent. Now, Victoria police have been brought in to investigate the McGuire's assault claims, but also claims by Nanaimo RCMP its officers were the ones who were assaulted. We've been asked by the Nanaimo RCMP to come in and just review the entire incident and determine if any criminal charges are necessary or warranted. Camilla McGuire says she pulled one officer's hair to get him away from her son after the officer had punched her, but the family maintains beyond that there was no other physical contact. They are speaking to a lawyer and considering civil action.